Concerning your main page, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal, and Paula Villarreal right there, joining my phone. We just watched this Women's World Cup FIFA soccer go down in Germany, and now it happened. Japan has won the Women's World Cup. USA was up. They had all kinds of chances. They were up twice. But here's the thing. We want to talk about all this. First of all, Morgan scored, and then Miyama came back, and it was 1-1. And then you had, uh, oh man, I can't, I can't even remember her name right now. Paul will deal it to me. She scored with the header, dude. Late in the game, it was 2-1, and they had it. USA had all the stuff, but here's the deal, dude. Basically, at some point in there, first of all, all personal opinion, knowledge, a facts, I can't say it's for all for any team, parody, purpose, check the disclaimers. Here's the thing that really freaks me out a little bit. At some point there, I think the female commentator for ESPN was saying that President Obama, I believe I have this right, and maybe I have it wrong. I think he said President Obama, somehow the White House sent them some picture or something of President Obama watching the game, whatever, and this is when the USA was up to one. Dude, wait a minute, I think that's right, maybe I'm wrong, but did Obama jinx the Women's World Cup? Did he go in for the Team USA? They were talking about the, the daughters. And it's like, dude, I'm trying to watch the World Cup, dude. Everything was right there. You have to have mental energy and emotional energy. And I don't need, uh, first of all, shouldn't Obama be working on the debt, the deficit? Forget about that. We'll deal with that. This is about the Women's World Cup. And then it was all there. And everything was happening. And I just felt like the mojo was out of the, of the USA women. That they weren't doing, it was pretty mad. I don't know what they were doing. And then Sawa scores for Japan. And now it's like, whoa, it's totally tight right at the end. And it's going to come down to the penalty kicks. And, and the USA penalty kicks were just horrible, dude. Horrible. Like, where were, where were they kicking it? It was like over, and then the other one was over here. And it's like, what? And then it's like, well, I don't, dude, Japan won. They were on their game. They did what they needed to do. And this right here, I mean, you know, in some ways, it's like, this, the whole, all the nation was watching in Japan, and the nation was watching here. And now, after the terrible tragedy that happened in Japan, not to make sports into some moral thing, but they have to feel good in Japan right now. Paul, you watch this whole thing. What's going on? All of Japan, I think, in our personal opinion, might be excited about this. At least those that like soccer. What's going down? I'm stunned, as you said. It looked like the USA had this thing wrapped up two different times in regulation late and in, in, in the extra session late. Uh, as you said, I don't know if Obama jinxed this or whatnot, but I looked like the USA was doing well until we started hearing until we started hearing stuff about Obama was watching and all of a sudden reports may have changed. I'm extremely and so we're both proud Americans and the Americans had a great effort. And we're, we're very there. unfortunate that they lost. But as you said, Japan went through a terrible tragedy recently with the earthquake and the tsunami. This is just the kind of victory that can really give hope and pride to the country. So we salute Japan and their tenacious women for a great effort. You guys, I you mean, you guys, Japan did look outmatched in this match. They looked like they could not compete. USA had multiple chances that they couldn't convert. Japan hung around, they stayed tough, and they got an unbelievable win. I'm just stunned. We're stuck, and that's it. We love USA. We're all about Team USA. And we love the USA women and USA soccer and FIFA and everything. And I felt like they had the better team, and they had it all going on there. In my personal opinion, I'm worried about what happened with, their, with Obama potentially jinxing it. But forget about that. We're not superstitious. Here's the thing. The deal is this. That, you know what? It's just what you said. That the, the Japan women and the, and the soccer, all the credit to them. They stayed tough. They stayed focused. I remember on that inbound thing, the, the, uh, I think it was saw where the, the boom, this quick kick like that, and it went over there. And so they knew what they needed to do, and they got it done. It was a little engine that could. I'm not, you know, no disrespect, but, I mean, they really did the, 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 the pedal to the metal and got it done where it needed to get done. So all the respects and props to Japan and everything. So that's what's up. I want to know what you guys think about that. You tell us what's going on. Give us a comment below, subscribe. I want to hear what you guys think out there in, in soccer land and in conservative media land and in YouTube land. What do you think about this? I want to hear from the from uh, T, uh, Japan fans. I want to hear from USA fans. I want to hear from soccer fans. What's up with this match? Japan wins the Women's World Cup. You tell us what's going on again. Comment below, subscribe. I'm John D. Valero. That's Paul. We're Concerned New Media, and we will see you next time.